Hi guys, once again it's Roger Eastlick with another internet marketing uh, productivity tool. This time we're going to talk about RoboForm. RoboForm is a password manager which is designed to help you um, keep your passwords safe and not help you not use the same passwords over and over again and help you fill out forms, forms and do repetitive stuff like that very quickly and easily and save you a ton of time. I've used it for a number of years and I have, I don't know, a hundred or more um, passwords saved and it's just amazing how it becomes a part of your daily life and just saves you a minute here and a minute there and in the end it's saving you hours and hours a year. So the way to get it is if you go to RoboForm, that's R-O-B-O-F-O-R-M dot com, RoboForm you're going to go down here, you get an absolutely free trial, 30 day trial. It's always a good place to start, right? Click on the download free trial. And your setup starts to run, or starts to download anyway. Takes a few seconds. Okay, now we've got the setup file all ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that to run it and click to confirm to install it okay we go ahead and just click next uh, right now all I have is I have Chrome whatever your browsers are it will automatically sense them and install them this is a test machine it doesn't really have much on it um, I don't really make that my start page. Just go ahead and click on install. It installs quite quickly. I only do this once anyway. Um, they have a service called uh, RoboForm Everywhere. I actually have gotten that one cost some extra money I forget it syncs everything all of your passwords online in a minute you'll see why I don't think that's that's I think it's safe to do that as long as you configure a master password but for right now we'll just click on desktop and just have it installed on your computer only um, so here's where you choose a master password and um, I suggest you use something that's um, has some you know large and small characters in it some numbers that kind of stuff it looks like uh, you know this is a decent password go on to next should be probably oh eight to fifteen characters long okay now I'm done with that looks like it forces you to do that before it, it was kind of optional whether you password protected stuff I think it's a really good idea to do that so now you see RoboForm is up here in the top right hand corner so let's say that uh, I wanted to log in somewhere show you how this is going to work so let's say for example I want to log into my one of my websites called million dollar reviews right log in there all the time um, I know you have to do WP admin and that's another thing is it's going to if you just know your website after a while you're not going to have to worry about anything else as far as um, you're not going to have to worry about exactly the URL that, that you know how to get into, into the site it remembers the URLs as well so let's see okay so let's go ahead and just uh, log in here and when I click login, you'll notice this thing pops up and says million dollar reviews, lets me save it. I go ahead and say password protect, save it. And now it saves, automatically saves my password for me. And now I'm in, I'm going to say never save my site. So I don't want Google, I don't want uh, anything else to save my passwords. Now if I totally get out of the program, shut down, go back into Google, go go back get into the browser, which is Google in this case, and go to my back to that website well first of all 
If I wanted to go and I wasn't quite sure where it was, I can just click on this and I can search for the beginning of it. It finds my million dollar reviews. I just click on that. Not, not only does it takes me to that URL, it logs me in. And um, I'm not sure how often it asks you for the password. I kind of thought that it would ask me for the password at that point. But periodically it's going to ask you for a password. Now let's say that, for example, um, oh, it, anyway, by the way, here's my, here are my, all of my pass cards, where were they right there? Right now I only have one. I've had a bunch of them. It would show me everything that, that, that corresponds to this beginning thing right here. That's one of the things I use. I also use the generate button. It'll generate passwords for you. This is very handy. It allows you along with RoboForm to just use, you know, a different password for every site. So um if you say generate new, you've got advanced settings down here, I guess they do it. Normally they have it by eight characters. You can put hexadecimal in there. Um you know I kind of cranked mine up to I think about twelve and if you generate a new one it gets bigger and also if you can use hexadecimal I definitely would and then it gets, oh I'm sorry um, oh I'm sorry if you use these special characters sometimes they don't, some sites don't allow you to use that but if, if you can go ahead and tick that when you generate a new one it's a 12 character um, password it would be really more really difficult to crack even in this day and age of very sophisticated computers you're going to be pretty safe and every password is going to be different so that's one thing you can do with that's the main thing I guess I do with uh, RoboCopy or RoboForm the other thing I do is, of course is to be able to log into or, or fill out forms um, a lot of times you you know you put your credit card in, information in there and like I say I think it's quite safe um, to do that let me think of what we could do, where we could go. Okay, you'll notice this kind of jumped here. I uh, found a form to fill out, and I went ahead and filled out a pass card. What happens is, in the beginning, you'll be asked to, if you want to fill out a pass card. And basically what that looks like is if you go to, if you right-click, here on on this you'll see something called identities and you go ahead and you click create a new one and then you'll see for example um, a form you can fill out which will look like this and you go through and put your first name your last name titles jobs phone numbers fax numbers email addresses um, you know gender birth dates all this kind of stuff, whatever you want to put in here, and then it would, um, and then you save it, and then when you go to, and you can basically do the same thing with a credit card as well. And I can't really, I don't think I can fake a credit card number, but you, you get the idea. You can put down here what kind of a credit card it is, put the credit card number. I do this. I've got these in mind, and it makes it really easy to fill out your stuff after that. After that, it's really a matter of, for example, here if I reload this page okay so now I've got an empty form right wow I have to start writing my first name in last name wow a lot of work all I have to do though with RoboForm is click here and then click on my identity or hover over my identity and then click fill forms and of course it didn't work, did it? Oh, there we go. It took a minute. But there it goes. It filled out the stuff that I had filled out. So, um, not sure why it didn't fill out the... Sometimes the form names, sometimes the address names, and so the field names and stuff aren't going to correspond. And then um, you can have that kind of a situation where... Uh, let's see. Did I fill out my address? I may not have filled out my address. I did, I think. Where was I? My birthplace. Um, there's places to fill it out. And like if I want to take this now, and let's say I do a lot of forms, let's say I want to save this form the way it is, and let's say I do put 
1000 North Main Street here. Then, and I put a city in, and I get myself a state going, and a zip code. All right? Then I can actually save this form if I wanted to. I could. What I could do is I could bookmark it. Um, let's say, for example, new form. And I'm going to call it Chase. I'm going to save it. Then, if I ever had to come back to Chase again, then what I could do should be able to just reload this page, and then come down here and then click on Chase. And of course, it tried to submit it as well, so it complains, right? Because I didn't really fill it out right. But as you can see, it put all that information back in here. So this was a tutorial of show you how to use RoboForm. You can go down and get yourself a copy today. Save yourself a ton of time and worry. Messing around with your passwords. It's at RoboForm.com. Download the free trial button right here and uh, start saving yourself some time. This is Roger Reeslake. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.